Hello everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the first episode of Devapala, titled Dissatisfaction. This is uh, the easiest of the new Dynasty of India DLCs. Um, I'm a little bit rusty since I've been out of the game for quite a little while now, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to restore my skills relatively quickly, as well as maintain a video quality of my uploads here. Now, you might notice, if you have a discerning eye, that here on the screen I have already finished the first four missions. That's because I actually did the recordings for these first four missions without realizing a couple of problems. Uh, one of them was that because I had moved to a new computer, um, I hadn't had the enhanced graphics pack installed, and so as a result, the zoom of my missions were inconsistent, and also the enhanced graphic pack was not installed. Uh, so in order to fix that, I'm actually going to go ahead and redo these first four, including the achievements that we have already uh, kind of achieved here for the third and fourth mission. Now, I'm happy to do this because this was a good opportunity for me to get back into the swing of commentating and playing this game uh, in addition to that. So I do thank you guys for your patience and hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. I tell of warriors and weapons, faith and fury, and a man whose like we shall not see again. Devapala, son of Dharmapala, the greatest ruler of the Pala dynasty. From his ancestors he inherited the fertile earth and thick jungles of Bengal, a realm where tigers prowl, reptiles swim, and the sacred waters of the Ganges empty into the sea. This is the land of the Mahayana, the great vehicle of Buddhist teachings, a creed that guides us towards Nirvana, an enlightened escape from the endless cycle of birth and rebirth. Some call the life of a monk difficult, but they know nothing of that of an emperor. We monks must only care for the spiritual welfare of our people. An emperor, however, taints himself daily with their material concerns, miring himself in dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction is an inherent aspect of our material existence. That is the first noble truth. Devapala's aspiration in life was selfless. To become a bodhisattva, an enlightened being who forestalls nirvana in order to hold the door open for others, rather than locking it behind him. To do this, he sought to build an empire and rule benevolently, improving the lot of his subjects. A noble aim, but one not easily accomplished in such violent times. Devapala knew that he needed to secure Bengal's borders before he could rebuild its interior. Summoning his armies, he sent his cousin and commander Jayapala to demand the submission of the neighboring realms of Kamarupa and Utkala. All right, our main objectives are to capture Kamarupa's town center by bringing a soldier to it. Our secondary objectives are to capture Kamarupa without losing a single unit to obtain the castle aid to research for free. Our hints tell us that Devapala is restricted to the Castle Age and a population limit of 125. Bengali town centers automatically spawn additional villagers as we advance through the ages. The Pratiharas and Rashtrakutas are only a nuisance, but the equipment stored in their camps could be of use to you. The dense Bengali climate can make land-based invasions a challenge, consider also attacking Utkala by sea. And lastly, to beware of fearsome Bengali tigers. Our scouts report that Devapala in yellow and his army have thrust into enemy territory with the aim of quickly seizing a base from which they can launch further operations. Kamarupa in blue is an obvious first target. Its rich lands in the northeast are defended by a pitifully weak military, primarily of infantry. Utkala in green is a more formidable opponent. Its realm to the southwest is ruled by a defiant queen who will send elephants and skirmishers into battle. Utkala may also deploy a navy to attack the Pala forces by sea. 
And finally, the Pratikaras in red and Rashtrakutas in purple are old rivals of the Palace. Thus far, they have only established small camps in the west and northwest of the map, but raiding parties of mounted units and infantry, respectively, may soon venture into Palat territory. All right, let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? Cousin Deva Pala, our forces march on Kamarupa as you ordered. I shall send tidings of our victory shortly. Pala elephants! We are doomed! Uh, in order to take this fight without losing a unit, first of all, I need to make sure that I don't lose my scout. But second of all, we want to kind of bait these guys in slightly smaller groups if possible. Just like that, very good. The groups consist mainly of swordsmen and a few spearmen. Even though this sieve takes less bonus damage uh, from spearmen, uh, at least for our elephants, it's pretty important not to uh, allow them to take too many free hits from these spears. It's also very important not to get our scout involved because he will die very easily. We want our Ratha and our elephants to handle this. One spearman cut it out. A couple more units cut it out here. There should be a couple more spearmen, maybe a few swordsmen left as well. What is this? What is this? What was that pathfinding? Lost a lot. We almost lost a guy there because of that strange pathfinding. This guy literally has four HP left. But I think, fortunately, the worst is over. As long as we don't throw, we should be fine now. That was a near thing, though. Palace League Gate will go down to standard melee damage quite easily. And let's march in on the town center here. Please, Devapala. Hey, you have made your sure force. Katria. My lands and people are yours. If you would but spare them. Our troops are electrified by this costless victory. We will carry this momentum forward to Utkala. Alright, so we get free castle age. And with the free castle age, we actually got two free villagers as well. So this will accelerate our early game significantly. On our land. <laughs> that went so so well for your forefathers. So right now my main focus is to get some additional stone online. That way we can get a castle up on the hill here. Hi. 
निर्माण करी And I guess our main goal now is to scout around too. Plenty of villagers on wood. Let's get double bit axe. Bring these water buffalo back. And get some stone miners online here. Utkala does not stand alone, Palas. Some of your old family friends do not agree with your ambitions. I they fear are. that she means the Pratiharas and, and Rashtrakuta's cousin. Just give the Common word country. and I will bolster the defenses on our flank. Hey! Need one Karim? Hi. Oh, that was neat. Uh, but this zone should be where the reds are hereabouts. Let's try grabbing this relic and bring it home. The sea is an excellent source of food, but we can also use it to attack Utkala. Adish. Adish. Hey, bad. Do you are? Do you Okay. So yeah, uh, I'm enjoying playing Age of Empires. I've got some stuff going on in my life right now, primarily switching jobs and stuff like that that I was prioritizing. So I expect the custom campaign content will come out as well. I'm also still working on Battle Brothers modding on the side. Uh, so I'm quite busy these days. Nonetheless, this game is very important to me. I had a, a lot of great time playing it when I was a kid. Still have a lot of great time playing it now. I hope to continue doing so. That is the relic picked up. Have a keen eye on the new Bala lands, riders. Shall we pillage them a little? Adish? Nirmankari. Nirmankari. Hoi. Your forefathers paid us great insult once, Palace. It is high time we return the favor. Okay, let's get some more villagers out. Hi. Nirmankari. And continue fortifying our defenses here. Need more stone if possible. So we can get a castle going. Let's also build a university with the spare wood that we have. So I can pick things up like murder holes, fortified walls, so on and so forth. Let's grab Fletching here. Even though we got Castle Age for free, we didn't get any of our Feudal Age tech, so we still need to research those. Zugadia 
खनकारी शतरे आदेश हे खनकारी हाय खनकारी हाय शतरे निर्माण कारी आदेश जाइए शतरे निर्माण कारी निर्माण कारी हे हे खनकारी खनकारी हाय जाइए आदेश निर्माण कारी हाय All right, nice. Let's get this castle online. Keep coming out with vills. We can start researching our castle age eco upgrades now as well. Before I construct any farms, I'd also like to get the farming tech upgrades. Let's grab Bodkin Arrow. Also think about some additional techs. Are there any deer left here? No. Hi. Nirman Gari. Hi. Do you? Bid. Hey. Agaturia Bid, hey, to ya shop, hey, shorty, to ya need, 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 Put these guys back on wood. Let's pick up horse collar in preparation for our farms. Let's have our milk move out here. Heal these guys up. Get horse plow soon, or rather heavy plow, horse collar heavy plow. There the elephant back. Pick up bloodlines. And do wheelbarrow after that. So far it's been pretty peaceful. Nothing too crazy to report here. We'll get a stable up out here. Start training a couple more Ratha. Let's start doing... Additional food gathering here. That's not a problem, we just need uh, murder holes. Hey, camels won't do anything to these castles. I'm not worried about that at all. We have plenty of time to get murder holes online. We can get masonry online afterwards to bolster our castle HP. Let's keep training bills. Uh, let's build some galleys as well. Hi. 
निर्माणकारी निर्माणकारी Cool, that's the first wave repelled. Adish, Nirmanka, Nirmankari. Let's grab War Galley Tech. Feel the wrath of hey. my elephants. Hi. Shaktari. Nirmankari, Nirmankari. We have 35 wood choppers right now. Five. Put these guys back on farms. My spies have already reported your evil efforts to build a Did you actually think that Utkala would stand idle and wait for your ships to sail into her harbor? Bad. I mean, no, but I haven't really been building a real fleet yet. I do appreciate the, the shit talk, though. Keep it up. Let's grab ballistics for our castle. Husbandry, so that our Wrath are faster. Maybe train a few more Ratha as well. And we can go for Battle Elephants, I think. Convert that elephant archer. <laughs> Our armored elephants are bravely soldiering on there. We pulled off conversion successfully. Excellent. Let's do Karini now. Let's do the next gold shaft mining tech. Keep training villagers during the interim. Grab fortified wall, even though we don't really need it, I don't think. I just like it. Getting some more housing online here. Now our goal is to defeat the Ukala. Let's save our monk here. 
And I'm honestly okay with making a detour up here. There's plentiful resources there. Yeah, uh, I'm really hyped after all this time that Age of Empires is still getting content. Absolutely amazing. Super happy and stoked for the dev team that continues to give us so much great content, as well as the custom content creation community as well. Hi. Hey. Hi. Nirman Kari. Nirman Kari. Nirman Kari. Nirman Kari. Adesh. Nirman Kari. This will be a good opportunity to show off the new armored elephants as well. Keep pumping out fire ships. Make sure that our naval dominance remains here. Hi. Hi. Let's get three siege workshops so we can start training those armored elephants. I guess this is what we get for fighting before our armor tech came in. Soldiers are still doing relatively good here, actually. Let's get some more battle elephants out. Armored elephants are hardy beasts. We should feel some and batter down the enemy defenses. I agree. Ratha benefit from the Archer Armor Tech. Here we are destroying their camp. Actually don't think we need any more villagers. Our pop limit is 125. Let's save the food. Get a town center up northeast there. Even if we must 
तो यह निर्माण कारी Thanks for telegraphing your attack, I guess, would call a queen. We've overrun the Pratihara camp. Up next is the Rush Recruiter camp. Probably gonna lose our siege workshops there, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We can always rebuild them. Up here. Plenty of resource inflow now. I'm glad I seem to be managing at least the first level of the easy campaign pretty well here. Fighting on three fronts here, really. You have bested us for now, young Pallas. We will watch your activities with great interest. <laughs> Yo, that guy's voice is so deep. All right, now we can make a backwards pincer attack here. And focus our entire efforts on the Ukalas. The Ukala now does stand alone. How embarrassing. Nirman Kari. Hey, hi. Ami Chai. Nirman Kari. Hey, to yar. Let's retire some villagers. Now we're well on our way to crushing the Ukalas. We have alligators attacking. The Balas are here! Hey, protect Utkala with your life! Nirman Kari. Striking these fools from the back. Let's grab treadmill crane just so that our villagers can build things a little bit faster. Will the skirmisher get converted? Yes, he will. Good job, monk. You just saved your own life.
How much does an armored elephant even cost? A lot of food, a lot of gold. All right. As long as we're able to batter down that castle, I think we'll be all good. I've got quite a lot of elephant using sieves now, with uh, with the Southeast Asian ones as well as the South Asian ones. It's also interesting having a food costing siege unit. That's pretty new. Let's build some docks on their face to a certain dominance. And this should be all she wrote. Retire these villagers to get some more soldiers. Make sure we're using our idle military key to round up our military units so that they're all contributing here. Awesome. Ukala is yours, cousin. I hope that our forces and I have made you proud. Great. While Kamarupa submitted almost instantly, Utkala fought hard. As the bodies of the slain piled up, Devapala began for a moment to doubt the virtue of his cause. Yet as the months passed and the wounds of the realm healed, his doubts slowly vanished. His heart bloomed as he observed the prosperity of his land and the contentment of his people. We are what we think and what we think we become. Our thoughts shape the world, said the Buddha. Devapala's shaping of the world had only just begun. All right, that was a fun starter mission here. Nothing too difficult. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's good to be back. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.